it is the next episode of G1 Insider. Today I have the wonderful, the Omega Gamer, Giggs. But before we get to Giggs, we got some housekeeping to do last week, pff, last month. I don't know time. Last time we had Potato, who gave us the options of that he was born in Russia and he speaks it at home. Uh, his childhood neighborhood all adopted a rabbit and they raised it together. And then his third one was that when the rabbit died, they adopted a neighborhood cat. Number four was that years one through six, he went to four different schools. Number five was that he had a hurricane, destroyed all of his stuff. The lie was that pesky neighborhood cat. What a weird thing to lie about, but an Omega play from an Omega gamer because it's plausible. I mean, you just assume two and three go together. Man, he totally got me. But now we have Giggs, who's gonna lie to my face, per <laughs> usual, <laughs> and let's see if I can uh, catch him out on it. Okay, so start us off while we look for a third and give us your first truth and or lie. I always or. <laughs> use code G1 at advanced GG checkout. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, that better be true. Okay. I mean, that, that's definitely my lie. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's definitely true. You threw me a softball, and I appreciate that because now I only have four potential things to pick the lie from. But uh, in the meantime, you a book reader or, uh, or movies? I am a movie person. I used to be a book reader, but no, I, I mainly just play games and watch movies. Nice. I feel okay, like books so are what... too time consuming. That is true. It's like an hour versus, like, depending on how long the book is, many hours. Right. What's a fiction? world that you have read or watched that you would want to visit? I mean, sorry, the Star Wars universe is kind of like a cop-out, but yeah, I'm like a huge Star Wars fan. Maybe it's starting to become a cop-out again, but I feel like it was kind of like out of fashion for a while until Mandalorian and all the stuff came back, so I feel like it's still a good answer. Okay. Well, actually, Not one. I love Star Wars, but thinking about it now, I feel like visiting the universe would probably actually suck, <laughs> yeah. but I'll stick with that answer, whatever. It'd be cool to visit if you had all the knowledge that you needed to survive. Definitely. Um, if you had to delete all but three apps on your phone, what would you keep? What would what would make oh the, the final cut? Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I'd have to go with Twitter. Twitter makes the final cut. I'd have to go with Postmates because I'm lazy and always have food <laughs> delivered. Okay, and good answer, good answer. I guess like, uh, I mean, does text messages count? No, I feel like that's like standard on a phone. Like that'd be okay. like, oh, you have to give up phone calls on your phone. Like, no, that's standard. Right. Like that's, apps, then, then like I, apps I'd, the app I'd probably keep my Robinhood app, I guess. Okay, I don't, what does Robinhood do? It's just like a stock. App. Oh, oh, making the shmoneys. Okay. Yeah, investing and whatnot. Respect. It's like all the different areas of your life that you need. You need social activity, you need shmoneys for your future, and, and you need food. Yeah. <laughs> you got all the basics. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Very uh, well rounded. Narrowed down to three. Yeah, there we go. So if you didn't have a career in video games, what is another career path that would interest you? I'd probably be homeless. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's a really Professional good question. Professional vagabond. <laughs> I probably honestly like work for a game studio, but I don't really know. I haven't really thought about it too much. I got really lucky with like streaming very early on in my life, but like mm -hmm. right going into adulthood, it kind of all just like stars aligned. So mm -hmm. I, I never really had to think about it, but yeah, it would probably be some sort of game design. I think it'd be cool to be a director or creative director on a big title. Mr. Travel and I talk about this a lot because I feel like there's a lot of crossover for people who are so in depth at video games that it's like, it's a little bit more than like an armchair developer. It's like, I was going to say, I have... could go from armchair developer to actual like what is the armchair developer which is just the creative lead yeah but it's like i mean there's a little bit more to it if you like play the game as much as you do right have you had any jobs like small time jobs before you got your big start no actually literally my first i guess you could call it a job was streaming and i never even got into it with the intention of like making money out of it because like i first started streaming in 2009 and like the justin tv days so this is before twitch and then Whoa, J J jtv turned into Twitch TV and I like there's a period of like four or five years where I didn't have good enough internet to stream uh -huh. and then I got back into it which was like the same year Destiny came out but like several months before so I just streamed like a lot of Titanfall and then Destiny yeah stars kind of aligned wow that's crazy uh, all right why don't you give us another one of the potential truths potential lies I was in a junior basketball league and my team went zero and ten <laughs> That sounds like something that you would not lie about. <laughs> like, I if mean, you're gonna maybe. lie, you're gonna make it like something cool. <laughs> may, I mean, maybe. Unless you think that I'm gonna think that you wouldn't lie about that. I'm trying to uh, psychology this pretty hard. So you mentioned Postmates. Do you yep. cook at all? And if so, what's one thing that you like pride yourself? You're like, all right, 
I can make this. So like, I'm an okay cooker, right? I can follow a recipe. Uh -huh. um, Good. But like, my specialty is like a mushroom taco. That's super yeah. good. It's like spicy and yeah, it's super good. Are you a vegetarian at all or just like, no. like, like this? Like I'm not mushroom. a vegetarian, but like growing up, my mom like was vegan. So like mm. I yeah. know like all the vegetarian vegan type stuff. I love meat. I love a good barbecue, but I also like appreciate, you know, vegetables and different vegan stuff. Nice. Yeah. Like just a few days ago, I was like, damn, I really want some lentil soup. And I was like, man, who even says something like that? <laughs> <laughs> That's a very California thing to say. It feels like. <laughs> Sometimes I interject my own little like, I don't actually know this about my teammate. Like, are you from California or did you move there? After, I, uh... I am born and raised LA, yeah. Hey, nice. Um, any pets? Uh, no, I, my opinion on pets, I like, I love dogs and like cats are also super easy, but I feel like it wouldn't be fair given my like wild sleeping schedule and how much like I just dream and game and stuff. Like it wouldn't, it wouldn't be fair to the animal for me to own one right now. Yeah. Uh, like, you know, I would have to like walk the dog every day, make sure they go, blah, you know, and if I'm like my randomly waking up at 7 a.m. and then 5 p.m. the next day, you know, it's just, I feel yeah. like it's not fair to the animal. Dog's so. like, could I, could I get a schedule yeah. or something? Yeah. So like, I love dogs, but yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't have one. I would like to have one, but maybe in the future. Mm -hmm. If you could get to a point where you, your lifestyle could sustain having a pet, but you didn't have to stick with like a dog or a cat, like you could have any, any animal as a pet, what would you go with? I don't know. I feel like a monkey would be cool. <laughs> yeah. But it, it would have to be obviously chill because you, you can't have like a gorilla that's just going to maul you. But uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I feel like a chill monkey would be sick. Like a capuchin, like the ones with the guys who had the music boxes and the capuchins that would dance. Uh, I was gonna yeah. say, like, if you think like Aladdin, whatever, like that monkey is, yeah. you know, like, yeah, that'd be sick. Okay, so let's stay on the animal tangent. If you could transform into an animal in your spare time, like instead of a werewolf, you'd be like a were something. I'd be like a were bird. Because <laughs> <laughs> flying would, I feel like flying would be so sick. That's a good point. Yeah, yeah. And I feel like any other animal, the experience isn't that much different than mm. what I currently if you're just experience like cr in reality. Crawling on your, yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> so like a bird would actually, like, you know, you could take flight. That'd be sick. Are you a, a thrill seeker? Have you done any, like. No, not really. I've did like bridge jumping and stuff but like no not really a thrill seeker i like like horror and like haunted houses and stuff if that counts mm -hmm. but like not like jump out of a plane like I, I i'm good on that yeah i've been in a hot air balloon you think like oh hot air balloons they're pretty relaxing but like if you think about it you have a ball of fire above you and then like <laughs> emptiness below you i was and you're just in a basket <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with like no seatbelts or anything. I was like, oh, cool. This will be such a neat experience. And then we got about 10 feet off the ground. I was like, what have I done? <laughs> nah, I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's get that third one. Once upon a time, I had stacked up 17 parking tickets on my car. <laughs> All right, that one I feel is very true. Having lived in LA for not even a year and having already gotten, how many was it just for posterity? 17? 17. I hope for your sake that that is the falsehood, but it sounds very, very accurate knowing what I know, depending on what part of LA that you live in and or are from. But maybe I'm lying, I don't know. Could be, maybe you don't even have a car. I don't know, I don't know that about you. I myself am less likely to get a parking ticket and more likely to get a speeding ticket. I've actually I've... never been pulled over, which is crazy because wow. I speed all the time. <laughs> wow. I feel like we should cut that out. Otherwise, you're going to have the cops banging on your door no, or at least fine. following keep, you around. Keep, keep it in. <laughs> Let them know. Uh, if you could magically become fluent in any language, what are you picking? Who are you talking to? Well, I feel like that's an easy guess. If I live in yeah. LA, it would be Spanish. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's Spanish. Yeah, that's smart. Do you have any just from you picking it up from everything around you or are you just like, oh, so no, you have not no idea? All. Oh. I, I, have a, I have a lot of friends that speak Spanish and like, you know, I know all the swear words, but like, mm, yeah. I, yeah, I don't, I don't, I suck. So no, yeah. I, don't, I don't speak it at all. If you already knew Spanish because you're a, an Angelino and you just had to learn, what would be the next one? Next one, I could go weeb with this and say Japanese. Oh, good. Or I don't know. I feel like French would be cool, but yeah, probably one of those two. I feel like Japanese would be good because it's so different. Like I'd have to pick a non-Latin based language that is going to be a lot more different, like sentence structure wise and just everything. Right. It's also, Plus, it sounds sick. Yeah. 
Um, if you could go to Mars, would you? And if so, why? No, thank you. <laughs> I mean, if it was like terraformed, maybe, but like yeah. in its current state, no. Uh, yeah, I'm good on that. Not a pioneer. Uh, like, I, I actually do not understand people that like willingly sign up in the thousands to like do those type of missions and stuff or whatever. Mm -hmm. I guess people just want to be like the first person to go to Mars, you know? Yeah, uh, remembered. Uh, I feel like, yeah. yeah, those types of people are like, it's more like legacy versus like the experience because right. they're more than likely to just die on the way but at least their names will be there all right let's get the uh the fourth guy wait shoot i didn't oh i did write them third parking tickets unfortunate yes. so number four would be that i was an aspiring lion tamer really <laughs> okay that one sounds obviously it's like all right that's some craziness but knowing you i i, I don't know i feel like la is the city of opportunity <laughs> you could do anything there you really can do anything here okay if you could have a lifetime supply of anything besides money like it has to be like an object whether food whether it's like i don't know so i could just say toilet food. paper <laughs> no 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 i'm good on that man but if, if you say food I, like, then it has to be like computer parts like, uh yeah i mean i feel like that'd be sick i mean food would just make sense like you drain so much money in food yeah but you gotta say like a specific like a specific it has to be like thing. sushi or like a doritos or See, something if i had to have like, like if we're going food route it would be salad because there's like a million ways you could do a salad where like, that's you true wouldn't get necessarily bored of it but yeah it'd, it'd probably be like computer parts computer parts That's are expensive and they come out every year if you yeah. want to constantly stay up to date you're spending thousands of dollars every year bring up a lot of good points all right last one i was a gymnast as a kid okay i like this because it means that one of these is true <laughs> But you were either a lion tamer or a gymnast Actually, as a kid. Actually, four of them, four of them are true. True, yeah. But like, obviously the G1 code is like. I, I was definitely the lie. I called it out at the beginning of this thing. <laughs> uh, okay, so to reiterate, you always use code G1 when you uh, buy your advanced GG. You were in a junior basketball league that went, oh, 10 one season, which is a Payne's champ. 17 parking tickets at one time. Aspiring lion tamer. Or uh, or you were a gymnast as a kid. Very interesting. I will be excited to hear what the truth is. And we learned a little bit about you and other stuff. So thanks for joining me. Yeah, thank you for having and me.